Okay, what do we have here? Uh, okay, it's not moving. Can't find any arrows here. What arrows are you talking about? Uh, what's this? Is that a book? <laughs> Good. Whoa, what's this? That's ah, light bulb. Seems like a wire is missing. Maybe I can find the missing part. Is this the right part? Nope. <laughs> That's not a wire. <laughs> okay, we need to find a wire. Use the screwdriver. Uh, use the head. Use the cell phone. <laughs> use the axe. Nope. Ah! A wire. Okay. A wire. Oops. Okay, we got it. Screwdriver. The computer should work now. My engineer education sh really paid off after all. What? <laughs> it's just a wire. Door control system, section 2 unlocked. <laughs> okay, I think I know where to go. Oops. Wait. Running out of oil. We need oil. Okay. Wait, let's bring this. Hey! Can't touch me. Oh! Shit! What? What? Oh. Okay, well. Right. No! No! What the fuck is that? Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Stand up now. She trying to help me or kill me? You're one unpredictable little girl. L little girl? <laughs> That's not a girl. <laughs> That's a monster. <laughs> Oops. Oil, oil, oil. Not again. Okay. I hear that. I hear that. I hear that. I hear that. Something is trying to break the door. Wait. I don't think it can get in. Side, right? Yeah. Lock bonus chest. I gotta see what's here. Anything here? Lock that thing outside. Hey, hey. Agnes calling me again. Mm. William, you don't know what you're getting yourself into. Look, I know what happened to your wife, okay? And if you care about her, I suggest again you walk away. How do you know her? I know about her. Because the man that raped her is a part of this project. We use people like him for research purposes. Instead of putting them in prison for the rest of their lives. You're a monster. Fucking monster. You better choose your words carefully if you ever want to see your wife again. Where is she? What have you done to her? I haven't done anything to her yet, but she might end up like my other experiments if you don't do as I say. We'll have to sacrifice a few to save the crowd. <laughs> sacrifice the few. You're insane. 
Everyone's dead. And not only are they dead, they walk the halls, hunting each other down, eating anything they see. I'll kill you. I'll kill you for this. You hear me? You won't be getting away from this place alive. Okay, that's creepy. <laughs> okay, let's read this first. The story behind the facility. My name is Frederick. I'm a 35-year-old dad and an office guy. Or at least I used to be. I went to my job one day and felt very ill and after a while I couldn't take it anymore so I asked my colleague to jump in for me and I went home for the day. Came home and saw my wife wasn't anymore. Wasn't anymore? Not at the kitchen, not in the bathroom, not in the living room, nowhere. I figured maybe she wasn't home so I went to bed only to find her sleeping with another man. Ah, God. I killed a man in front of her eyes. She was cocked and scared and ran out to call the police. I hurt her so bad when the police arrived I wasn't even trying to flee or make up an excuse. I'm not sure I could escape anyway, not after the wounds that man gave me right before he died. That old man really put up a fight surprisingly. I knew what I was I did and took my punishment, although I didn't know I was going to end up here. I remember a man reading my case and asked me several questions. He eventually, after a long time of examination, said He's not worthy a second chance. Send him to the facility. Next thing I know is that I woke up in a cell unaware of why nor where I were exactly. Do I sound like a monster to you? Maybe I am, but I'm at least not like them. I killed a guy having sex with my wife, this asshole's experiment with living people. All of us are criminals, most of us at least. I'm wondering what kind of harm that little kid in the, the cell next to mine to can do, but it doesn't change the fact that they ruin people's lives. A man named Richard managed to escape one day. I'm still not sure how, but he left his cell and tried to escape. He didn't get far, they found him after an hour near the exit. Last thing I heard, he was punished pretty badly and was used for a project I can't remember the name of. They are trying to make a group of super soldiers for unknown reasons. But I fear it's not for positive purposes, and why would it be? Richard, also known as the Monarch, according to the document I found about him, is walking around the hallways. He can still talk, so I thought it was possible to reason with him and that was a huge mistake of mine. I don't have much time left. I will die pretty soon. My last wish to anyone that finds this note is to do your best to escape the, this horrible place and tell the world what's really going on here. No matter what you have done, this place is nothing anyone deserves. Frederick. Okay. Now, do we need to go to that bathroom? Uh, wait. Uh, wait. Give me a bottle. Okay. Now let's go to the bathroom. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm ready. Hey, where is she? Thought I saw her here. Oh. Jesus. Laboratory. Wait. Okay, let's go here. It's red. Can we use red? Nope. What? Back outside. There's... Don't see a reason to go back in there. Okay, where do we go? Where do we go? What's this? Oops! It's broken! Hey, put it back in! <laughs> ah, okay, I think I know where we are now. Can we go inside here? Laboratorium? Mm, what do... What is this? I can only imagine what they use this for. Oh! God. It's hard to still feel sad for them, even if this project is Agnes' idea. What's this? Disgusting, just disgusting. Okay, what a creepy place. Wait, what's this? Can turn this on? Uh, it's Bunsen burner. <laughs> Patient 041, assassinator. Guilty of murder and several assaults, most of them against women. 
Patient 041 is the perfect specimen for the job. Our goal was to turn his anger and murdering skills into our advantage. We designed him to be the perfect assassin by removing almost all of his body fat and removing his ability to speak to make him completely silent and flexible. The only problem was keep keep him alive with a minimum weight, although this can hopefully be fixed by increasing his muscle weight. We are still unsure why he became deaf in the process, but something must be done about it or else the whole experiment is a failure. They, they fucked up. <laughs> they fucked up. Oh, yeah, what's this? Oh. Cadmium. Why do we need a cadmium? Do we put it here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Combine? Nope. Oops. I don't think I can get up there. Laboratory. Nothing of interest. And what's this? Move aside, chair. Um, oh, it's a machine. Ah, okay. I think we should place it here. Nope. Here. Nope. Okay, what do we do here? Back in the way. bulb and what's this hydrogen chloride okay uh oh hey you this man is the last experiment they will ever do I promise that yeah sick sick bastards wait Toxic discovery. I discovered that it's possible to create a very powerful acid by mixing and boiling the following ingredients. They must be placed in the following order as well, otherwise it's a huge risk they will blow up. Nitroglycerin, a toxic normally used for experiments on animals. Cadmium, a regular lab ingredient. Uranium, toxic waste but turned out to be good for acid making. Normally kept in the warehouse, hydrogen chloride is also a lab ingredient normally used for experiments in this lab. Placing the glass jars in the right order, once again very important, turn on the heat with the valve on the left and wait for it to boil. Done. Acid is not only a dangerous hazardous radiation but can also be a devastating on skin contact so use it with care. So nitroglycerine, cadmium, uranium and hydrogen. So put cadmium. Glycerine. It's probably in one of those rooms. Wait, let's go find it. It's probably here. Okay. Oh! A huge web looking like this blocking my way. Probably another way for Agnes to keep me away. Find a way to remove it. Yes, this is where we were going to use the acid. Okay, out. Okay, in here. Oh! Crap! Crap! They were desperate. They were scared and with all rights, their fate was lying in the hands of a cold, bloody murderer. William knew by now what he must do, kill Agnes Forsberg. Uh, huh. Okay. If I look at the crime scene, I say he died a painful death. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Crush the death it seems. Okay. This dog's dead for a long time. Wait, what's this? 
Desperate situation. We have been here for so long so I don't know what day it is. Brought a kid with us down here to fulfill a mother's last wish. We began to starve down here and the kid didn't survive for long. He suddenly grabbed Stefan's leg and bit him. We thought he was dead and he was according to his pulse but it's like he came back or something. Doesn't make any sense but I can't see any other explanations. We all agreed it was nothing we could do and we throwed him out. We are losing our hope of getting rescued. We are too afraid of leaving this place but too afraid to stay as well. I don't know why I'm typing this down. I don't believe anyone will find this note but it's the only thing that keeps me motivated right now. Someone erase the rest of the page. Who would do that? Agnes. <laughs> you found the doctors, huh William? I told you to walk away twice but you refused to. And now you will end up like them. Did you have a nice time with my specimen? I hope so because... There are more of them coming for you now. It also looks like Julie's having a little crush on you. I wouldn't trust her to help you out forever if I were you. She is pretty unreliable. Unre Julie! <laughs> okay, that's the name of the girl. That bitch Julie must be unreal. At least she does, doesn't kill innocent people like that asshole does. Uh, okay, got the last... Got the last chemical. Wait, open, open. Hey, what's this? Ah, it's a bone. <laughs> okay, skulls. Game save. Bitten and infected. Okay, he won't turn into a zombie, right? Someone stabbed her to death. Okay, Agnes did that. Hello there, Mikey. Mikey! Hey! Who is that? Me or something? Uh, oh! A ball! What? Wait! Right click! We can blink! <laughs> Ooh! We can play basketball! Dun, 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 dun. 